All right, we're up here in the barn today, starting to get the holes drilled for the wire. I have some spare time. It's kind of dark up here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. Hopefully it's got enough brightness. I only have one little light right here. It doesn't show a whole lot of light, but it's kind of out overcast outside today. It's not very bright. So ergo, it doesn't make it too terribly bright in here because I don't have the lights in, but that's why we're running the wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and film this. Hopefully it will show up enough. I'll move my light down kind of as I go down through here. We're gonna get our hose drill. We're gonna run a wire through for our outlets. And eventually we'll start getting stuff run for our lights up there as well. All right, so as you can see, this hit, this wall here had shelving on it, but it's all with wood and everything. I kept it. Wood is very expensive right now at the time I'm doing this. And also, I'm able to use a bunch of this throughout the process. So as you're doing projects, I mean, keep stuff reused. A lot of this stuff I've done with framing up here in this, I've been able to reuse all of this stuff that I've taken out. I just denailed it, reused it, and it saved me a ton of money. So just a little... Tidbit. It's a little bit of work because you got to denail it, but you know what? It's uh, right now with the prices being the way they are, it's it's very helpful. Alright, so now we're just going to work our way all the way down through here on each side. We're going to drill some holes. That way I can run my wire down here in just a second. As you can see, we just put it through the holes now, pull it through. We're going to cut it at the section. I'm cutting it a little longer than what I need, so that way I know I have enough for when it comes time to put my boxes in, which will come a little bit later on. But that way you can uh, get everything the way you need to be run just kind of roughed in basically. All right, now time for the boxes. I measured up two feet to the top of it. As you can see, I'm measuring out a little bit, and I'm gonna explain that here in a minute why I did that. But now that gets your wires in there the way it's supposed to be. Like I said, I just kind of tied them together so they all weren't everywhere as I was just kind of roughing everything in. This here kind of gets it more of the finished product before I put the insulation, and then I actually get the wood put on like I'm wanting to put on the inside of the building there. All right guys, we're back up here in the barn. I've been doing some wiring, let's check it out. It is not gonna look very good. You'll be like, dude, what have you done? But I'm just showing you what I got going. So here's all the wiring we got through here. What I've done is I'm gonna have lights on this side on a switch, and I'll have lights on this side on a switch. Why well, I have wiring up there for two fans. The yellow up there is actually for a outlet just so that I have it, now's the time to do it. A little dark over here, I don't have the light shining. But it's the same thing. I'll have uh, lights on this side, and I'm going to have a row here and a row here all the way down. There'll be six, a row of six, another row of six, row of six, and another row of six. 
Then we'll have all of our outlets down through here. The same thing, they're exactly the same on each side. Got some on the end wall there. Got one here. Uh, got one behind that door. And like I said, same thing down through here. So I have all the wiring in. Um, I wanna show you the videos now. I'm gonna get ready to start working on this uh, wiring now. So just giving you an update of what we got going step by step. So, so guys, like I said, I mean, keep watching these videos. I'm gonna show you progression of where we're starting. I started, I showed you the beginning of it. We had everything up here. I tore it all out. We got a big slate now and we're gonna progress through each stage. And hey, stay tuned. It's gonna be a big transformation. When I get all the way done, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So watch these videos, guys, appreciate y'all. And uh, hopefully this is a help to y'all. Also really quick, so this is more of what it's gonna look like when it gets done. So uh, let me grab a box here and show you. So we'll have our, all of our wires coming in, going out, and they won't be hanging. I, just, I don't have any, I don't have enough wire staples. I only got a few and we'll tack this up along here, up along there, up there to where you go. And I'll have another box up here for, though the yellow is for outlets. The whites are for my lights. But let me show you real quick what I got going. So your typical box, okay, your typical box, you got these little grooves. It has a half inch offset. So this right here is what you're supposed to do, okay? See how those notches are sitting right up against it? I'm gonna be doing some either beadboard, tongue and groove or something like that all the way, all the way around and on the edges. So that being the case, they are three quarters. So what I'm gonna do, and you might be able to get by with sticking it on there like that, but at the same time, if I don't, cause then you gotta put your outlet in and if you don't have enough room sticking out, then your outlet's gonna be sitting inside the wood. You go and you put your cover on it. You have this sitting here and you put your cover over top. You have your outlet and your cover sitting over top of it. And then your outlet is sitting recessed in it because it's too far back in the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna measure it, each one of them, and I'll pop it out like that right there. That right there is about three quarters. See how there's a space behind it? Right like that. I'll measure it and make sure that's what I need. But like I said, typically, there's your half inch every time for drywall, which is what these are designated typically for. I need three quarters, so we're just gonna scooch it out of here, about like that, nail it in, and nobody will ever know the difference. And then that way, when we're finished, we don't have to come back and put those spacers. Those are nice to have, but I really don't feel like doing like 25 of these things or however many I'm gonna have. I don't feel like going and putting spacers if it's too far in the wall. I'd rather just bump it out now, measure it, pop it in and it's a whole lot easier. So I'm trying to do things so I don't have to backtrack. So that's what I got going, guys. Keep posting on these videos. We appreciate you watching. And remember, as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY? Thanks for watching.